Hi welcome to the Success Seeds. The 5 Love Languages by Drive. Gary Chapman is a book that offers practical insights and tools to help individuals cultivate deeper, more meaningful relationships. In this book, Chapman introduces the concept of love languages, which are different ways in which people express and receive love. According to Chapman, there are five love languages, words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch. The book has been widely acclaimed and has sold millions of copies worldwide. It has helped countless individuals to understand themselves and their partners better, and to build stronger, more fulfilling relationships. In this book, we will explore the key lessons from the five love languages and how they can help us to create lasting love. Lesson 1. We all have a primary love language. The first lesson from the five love languages is that we all have a primary love language. This means that there is a particular way in which we prefer to receive love, and that this way is more important to us than any of the other love languages. Understanding our own primary love language is essential to building strong relationships because it helps us to communicate our needs and preferences to our partners. Lesson 2. Different people have different love languages. The second lesson from the five love languages is that different people have different love languages. This means that what works for one person may not work for another. For example, if your primary love language is words of affirmation, you may feel most loved when your partner tells you how much they appreciate you. However, if your partner's primary love language is acts of service, they may feel most loved when you help them with something they need. Lesson 3. We need to learn our partner's love language. The third lesson from the five love languages is that we need to learn our partner's love language. It is not enough to understand our own love language. We also need to understand our partner's love language if we want to build a strong, lasting relationship. Learning our partner's love language requires us to listen to them, observe their behavior, and communicate openly with them. Lesson 4. Love is not enough. The fourth lesson from the five love languages is that love is not enough to sustain a relationship. Love is an essential ingredient in any relationship, but it is not enough to make a relationship last. To build a lasting relationship, we need to cultivate mutual respect, trust, and commitment. Lesson 5. We need to speak our partner's love language. The fifth lesson from the five love languages is that we need to speak our partner's love language if we want them to feel loved. It is not enough to feel love for our partner. We need to express that love in a way that is meaningful to them. For example, if our partner's primary love language is quality time, we need to spend time with them in a way that they find enjoyable and fulfilling. Lesson 6. Love languages can change over time. The sixth lesson from the five love languages is that love languages can change over time. Our primary love language may change as we grow and change as individuals. It is important to remain aware of our own and our partner's love languages, and to communicate openly about any changes that occur. Lesson 7. We can learn to speak all love languages. The seventh lesson from the five love languages is that we can learn to speak all love languages. While we may have a primary love language, we can still learn to express love in all five languages. Learning to speak our partner's love language can help us to deepen our connection with them and create a more fulfilling relationship. Thanks for watching. For more such videos please subscribe.